Hey guys, it's Mike. I'm back with another guitar video, and this is a guitar I picked up from China off of AliExpress. There's only one seller that I saw selling these, and this is supposedly a knockoff of a Fender Jaguar prototype. And the color is gold. It's like a gold metallic. And let's take a look at the headstock. And the finish on the guitar is very good. It's, it's actually really good. But what's not so good is the pick guard. And this is a problem with guitars coming out of China, especially if they're not Les Pauls. The Les Paul pick guards, you know, they are very easy. But some of the other ones where there's a lot of twists and turns with the pick guard, they don't cut them very well. In fact, you know, I think they do them by hand. So let's take a look here. The chrome plated parts of the pick guard are actually that's good. I'm going to be focusing on the white pick guard here and you can see, let's take a look. See how that's cut? And it doesn't match up here. Take a look here. It doesn't meet flush against the chrome. You can see where it starts to turn in a little bit. You can see that cut there. It's not too bad but it's not great. Um, down here this is fine. This actually looks pretty good right here. Not too good. And what I found with um, the switch here, uh, you can actually push this in a little bit more so this is not fastened properly. The, um, the bridge is the same bridge they use on the Rick clones out of China. And then we have the, uh, the tailpiece. And the problem with the tailpiece is that the E rubs up against the uh, the post here. This is where we would put the uh, the bar. The bar slips in here. So I'll have to take a look at that. I don't think that's a big deal because I'm not really going to be playing with the bar. I like the guitar because it looks very, very interesting. Very retro looking. Uh, the other thing that I came across is uh, the wiring on this, the switches. They do not operate like a real Fender Jaguar. Surprise, right? So what I did was I pulled this off the Fender site and um, based upon the Fender site and some videos I watched on YouTube because I'm not that familiar with the Jaguar so uh, I had to get myself familiarized. But there's two circuits. There's a rhythm circuit and there is a treble circuit and in the rhythm circuit this switch here is supposed to toggle between rhythm and the treble circuit and these switches on a regular jack are actually wheels and this is supposed to be a volume and tone control uh, these do not do volume and tone so we'll get back to that in a second on a real jaguar uh, this switch here is the toggle the rhythm pickup in the treble circuitry. This is the lead pickup and this is supposed to be a mid-tone cut right here. So if we look on the sheet of paper here it says uh, the mid-tone cut acts as a strangle switch to cut mid-range across all pickups. The problem is is that these switches don't do any of that. This is a kill switch so this switch will put the guitar on or completely shut it off. These are switches for the pickups but they have them in reverse so this should be the rhythm toggle but it's not it's the bridge. This should be the bridge toggle and it's not it's the rhythm. So as I was playing with it last night trying to figure this thing out so I got this figured out alright so I, I've already concluded it's not anywhere near a real Jaguar. I then had to figure out what this stuff does. So this switch doesn't seem to do anything. So when I open it up I have to see if it's even wired to anything because no matter what I do, what switches I throw, nothing changes when this is down or whether this is up. These switches seem to toggle uh, both pickups on based upon what you're doing down here. So. I don't know. Again, I know I'm not sounding too bright on this thing, but 
this is very confusing, especially when <laughs> it doesn't do what it's supposed to do. This is a great uh, printout on the Fender site, by the way. So you can see it says uh, Classic Jaguar Controls. It explains it all right there for you. I saw some videos on YouTube. Some of them did an okay job of explaining it, others not so good. But in any case, I'll leave a link uh, to this in case anybody's interested. So what I'm going to do is I have to open her up. I got to take a look at all the wiring, see what the heck is going on here. I'm going to replace this pickguard. I'm going to get a perloid white pickguard from WD Music, and I'm going to do the tracing tonight. So I'm going to make sure when I do the tracing that everything matches perfectly. So we don't have any, you know, weird stuff like that going on. Or take a look at. Let me see if I can get close here. Take a look at this. Uh, this cut here. All right, that's just crazy. That was done by hand. And also, this is sticking up a little bit. There's something underneath that it's not allowing it to, to lie flush against the body, so I'll have to figure that out too. Um, the pickups actually weren't too bad, um, but I am going to put different pickups in the guitar. And uh, what, I don't know, I'm still kind of running it through my head. I was thinking of maybe some rail types of pickups and um, but I'll do another video when this is all done and uh, we could do maybe a part two and you can see what I did now the fretboard and all that stuff very good uh, I was playing the guitar I haven't checked the frets yet but I wasn't having any fretting out the nut is like plastic plastic um, so that's gonna go I'll put a, uh, a new bone nut on the tuners believe it or not are actually very good. They're very tight, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised. No slipping. You can see they even have the serial number on here. Uh, no shame out of China. Here's the uh, the plate in the back. Right? They don't care. But like I said, the actual finish on it is pretty darn good. So look, for two hundred eight dollars, it gives me something to work with. That's how I'm looking at this. And uh, when I'm done with it. She'll be a nice player. A little project guitar. Okay, so that's it. Um, I would say for 208 bucks, it's worth a shot. You know, um, it's going to work. It functions. It's a um, a matter of whether you want to put some work into it after you get it to make it uh, a much better player. All right. So over and out, and when I'm done with the work. I'll do another video. It might be a few weeks because it takes about two weeks to get these pick guards back from WD Music. I'll put a link uh, to their site in the description box below as well. All right? You guys have a great day, and uh, we'll talk soon.